I am Bill Reiners and I am Knox. A lot of my activities had to do with Green Oaks as a matter of fact. I sort of followed Paul Shepard along with some other friends into that sector of activity of the college at Green Oaks. Spent a lot of time out there on Saturdays. And, um, and so the external environment, the natural environment surrounding that has got to be an important part of my experience here. He was able to incorporate a sense of beauty, mystery, science, understanding how it all happened, sense of history, how long it had all been around, and it tied in with former human occupation too, how it had been settled in the 19th century, how it had been abandoned with the coal mining out there, but also with the uh, Great Depression. It's so all wrapped up into kind of a beautiful story with a sense of kind, a kind of romance in the old-fashioned sense of adventure, time, and distance. We would go out to Green Oaks on a Sunday afternoon and walk through the snow and look at animal sign and then he would bring us home, probably somewhat to his wife's dismay, you know, for a little evening hot chili before we came back to campus. And that was a precious experience. Green Oaks um, was available partly because the arable land had been strip mined. So part of it is strip mined. Part of it were just fragments of fields that were left on old prairie flat, more or less flat ground. And parts of it were upper stems of the Spoon River. So it had highly deeply dissected ravines that had always been forested. And then there were peninsulas of flat land between some of these ravines that had fairly old spreading oaks, oaks that had invaded since settlement time. Prairie restoration was very new at that time, and Knox was kind of a leader among a group of colleges in techniques to restore prairies. It's not that easy to get some of these prairie grasses to grow. Uh, many of the seeds are just not fertile, or we don't know how to get them to sprout. And, uh, and so Paul, Paul and, and George Ward were really kind of pioneers in, in the reed prairie development um, at that time. They've done a marvelous job of the prairies, uh, and maintaining those prairies is hard. They've got to be burned. And that is hard. That's hard, dirty work. The reforestation of the strip mine piles is much advanced. I would say that um, there's a good deal of understory development under the forest, so it's not as wide open and park-like as it used to be. But there's development of a, a very nice facility uh, for teaching. That's really quite an improvement. Uh, that didn't exist before. And I'm so happy that, in a way, Paul's dream of how uh, the college might use Green Oaks came to fruition through the action of you know, subsequent biologists that, that came along. And so my hat's off to the college for really following up on what really is almost a unique possibility, a, a unique aspect of uh, undergraduate education here.